Hey, what's up? Rob here again. And in this ClickFunnels 2.0 video, I want to take a look at some of the features, particularly the buttons inside the editor. So let's jump in and have a look. Okay, so we're inside the ClickFunnels 2.0 editor. Um, now, a lot of people have been experimenting with it, trying it out. I've certainly done a lot of things inside here. And um, so far, it's really good. It's really easy to use. People who are familiar with the previous ClickFunnels Classic will, will see things uh, that are already familiar to them in there. So it's quite easy to, to switch over. And if you've never used ClickFunnels before, equally, it is a very easy system to use. Um, I've used various different page, page builders, and this is, this is right up there with them in terms of the editing and the ease of use. Uh, but one of the things I wanted to look at today was the, uh, the buttons, editing buttons and creating buttons. It's something that's uh, it's such a small part of a website, but when it comes to internet marketing, they, they can be so important on um, you know, getting people to click on them. Um, they need to look right. They need to actually they need to work correctly, all of that kind of stuff. And in ClickFunnels 2.0, it's actually really easy to use. So in the editor, um, basically, I've got going to be making a lot of videos about the editor and various different features. But as you hover over, you see you get these different um, different colored bars, that uh, borders that come up around them. So you've got sections. Um, then you've got elements such as images or text. Um, and within the sections, you have rows and columns and all that sort of stuff. And they're all color coded. So it's really easy to find your way around. And you can just, um, you know, depending on what pops up here, you can move things around. You can go to your settings, you can clone if you want to copy something and move it down um, and then edit it. You've got your coding in here. You can delete items. It's really simple, really um, you know, intuitive to use. Now, we're going to talk about buttons. So if, if I come down here, this is the default um, template that was brought in. If I click on the settings menu here, it comes out on the right hand side. And it's got all the usual kind of stuff where you can put your, um, you can put your text in that appears on a button. Uh, you can put subtext in. So if you put that, that, that will actually come up, you know, underneath. You can control all of that stuff. Um, you can choose what the button does. Obviously, you know, coming to whether it's a pop-up or um, taking to the next step or to a URL, all of that kind of stuff, all the usual things. Uh, your padding, you know, the, the padding and spacing and alignment and all that kind of stuff. Again, fairly straightforward, fairly intuitive. Um, then you've got styles. This is one of the really great things with ClickFunnels 2.0. And I've got a separate video covering uh, the style guide. Um, I'll put a link to that video above. Um, so you, you've got various different styles available to you within the style guide. So you can just click and you can see here, but based on how my style guide is at the moment, um, I've got different versions. Some, some of them are quite similar. Uh, and you can actually go in and edit your style guide in here. Um, you can see I've got the various different buttons here. I've got style one, style two, style three. And then you can you can come down and control those. But have a look at the uh, that other video on the style guide for that. We'll give you, give you that in more detail. Um, so you can choose to have it as a default where it's, where it's, uh, you know, the, the default settings, so it's not taking it from there, or this has been styled in the template. If I just undo, that's going to come back to us. That's been styled for this specific template. Uh, you can also override the style guide. So if you've got something that you like the style, the general style of the website, but you just want one button that's slightly different, um, as long as you've got your button selected and you've got your button editor menu on the right here, you can just click override and then you can choose the color. Um, so you can choose a color from the style guide, or you can choose a custom color. So say I wanted this button to be I don't know, green. Um, I can do that here. And I can even override the, uh, the, the details of the text, the font, um, the spacing, any, any of this kind of stuff, the color of the text on there. Uh, I know red looks awful, but just give me an example. You can change the casing. So whether it's lowercase, uppercase, uh, title case, um, you know, all of, all of the various different editing you've got available to you here. You've got the, um, the borders, so whether or not you have corners, rounded corners, uh, whether or not you have a border on there. Um, again, you can choose all of that kind of stuff. And we're going to put that on all four, like that. Extreme, but you get the idea. So you can choose whether to have you know borders on just the three sides or all four sides or off altogether. We can just turn them off completely. Um, then you've got icons. You can, you can put icons on here as well. So you can choose the size if you want. If you've got an icon that you want, um, you can just search through, pick the icon, put it in there. Uh, you can, you've got separate um, controls for the icon size on the mobile. You can change the color of the icons, all of that kind of stuff. And if you come in here and you you're not particularly happy with your um, with your button after you've done all your overrides, you can just reset and stop overriding if you don't want to use it, and that will take you back to how it was in the original in its original state. Obviously, it keeps things like the icon because obviously you've put that on there. If you just don't want that off, you can just flick it off and then we're back to how we were at the beginning. 
Now, one of the other great things with buttons is there are uh, a load of templates available for buttons. So again, in the button editor, uh, so this has been open the whole time here. So just to remind you how we get into that, you hover over and you click on the cog, that brings the settings up. Now up at the top here, you've got this templates um, tab. If you click on that, you've then got various different button templates available to you. So if you want, um, you know, you've got modern button, that has got a glow behind it. You've got this one here with a, a shadow behind it as well. You've got a bordered button, uh, spread button, gradient button as well, which has got a drop shadow behind it. Um, modern outline, so it's just a, a very straightforward uh, button there. 3D button. So let's say you want one of these templates. Let's pick that one, but you don't particularly like the color. Now, when you come back into the settings menu, the main menu, you've then got the option with the color that's in that template. You can click on your gradient. You can um, you can change the colors however you want. You can just click on them. You can move where the where the control of the gradient works. Um, you can put whatever colors you want in here, and then you can still go in and change the uh, change the text, uh, change the font size, all of that kind of stuff. Um, you've even got the, you can change the color of the text. I'm not going to change it on that one because it'll look awful. And you can put shadow on the text, all of that kind of stuff. And you've also got the shadow under the button itself, which is this light gray color. If you want it a bit darker, you can do that. And then you click away, and there's your button. So a really great feature uh, in in the in the buttons um, editor is the templates because you've got some really easy and quick templates which you can get a good starting point, and then you can then go in and edit them further uh, as you wish. So that was just a really quick look at buttons. Um, like I said, I'm going to be doing a lot more videos of the uh, the editor itself. So if there's anything you want to know in particular, let me know in the comments below, and I'll do my best to make a video for you about it. Now, if you are new to ClickFunnels or um, you're thinking of going for ClickFunnels 2.0, there's a 14-day trial, free trial of ClickFunnels 2.0 at the moment. But I can double that to a uh, or over double it to a 30-day trial and get you a load of bonuses as well, over $21,000 worth of bonuses if you're interested in that. Um, now, you'll get $8,500 worth of bonuses from uh, ClickFunnels themselves, and you're going to get $12,500 worth of training from myself, courtesy of my mentor, who's been kind enough to uh, allow me to give away some of his training as a thank you for signing up to ClickFunnels 2.0 trial through my link. And his training is how to get free rankings on Google, on page one of Google, within 24 hours, and free, uh, completely free. So it's effectively like getting free ads on Google, um, and his training will, t will take you through exactly how to do that. So all you need to do is come to the link on the screen next to me, and you're going to come to this page here. You can see what bonuses you're going to get. Have a read through. Um, as I say, all you need to do is sign up uh, for the ClickFunnels 2.0 trial through my link. Click on one of these buttons, fill in your details, click send me the bonuses. Um, you'll get an email from me. Um, then that will take you through automatically when you click on that to this page here. Watch this video at the top. Now, this is what you're going to get from ClickFunnels. They're going to help you and train you in that 30 days to get your first funnel built. It's like a first funnel challenge, but not only that, they're going to help you get it built and launched and get your first thousand leads into your funnel. So the idea behind it is they get you um, up and running within that 30 days and earning money from your funnel. And obviously, if you do that and you're making money from it, you're going to be um, happy to keep your subscription going. So it's a really clever piece of marketing and they're really helping you out as well, getting your business started. So as I said, if you're completely new to this, if you want to try ClickFunnels 2.0, go for the 30 day trial, go for the link next to me here. You're going to get all of these bonuses here, over eight and a half thousand dollars worth, and you're also going to get my bonuses here of the uh, learning how to rank on page one of Google, which, as you can imagine, for any kind of uh, internet business, is pretty much priceless. To be honest, the amount of um, money that these people spend on ads uh, is getting phenomenal these days. So if you can get any kind of traffic for free, and this will do that, um, then it's it's an absolute bonus. So come come through, check it out, click on the link, sign up, and then get your thirty day trial. Um, and then reply to my email and I'll send you your bonuses. So that's it from me. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, please give it a like if you have enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and also hit the notification bell. That way you'll get informed when I release new videos. And doing all of that stuff helps me get my videos in front of more people like you who find them useful. So thanks again for watching. And until next time, take care. Bye.